Hello boys and girls, my name is Alcesti and I welcome you to episode 50 of my Minecraft series. Today I want to take the time to look back onto the last year and revisit some of the places. The main goal so far was improving my building skills. While this is still ongoing, I also want to become better at redstoning with more contraptions of my own and less reusing existing stuff. Let's get into it. The first real build out here 2000 blocks west of spawn was a small agricultural area with a wheat farm, sheep pen, a cow pasture with a water wet, bees, then a cow stable and even a custom tree. Up to this day I'm quite happy with this build, as I have not seen the likes of it before or since. The only thing I do not like is the uniform shape of the roof, but I have no idea how I could improve that with the given blocks. Soon after I started the huge project of our wizard tower that houses the nether portal, enchanting facilities and a brewing station at the top. Then I dug out a huge ravine around it and filled the lower layers with some glass fog effect. I think I should have done a few more glass layers. Below this there is also a simple slime farm. It turned out that the ravine was not wide enough to have a ground bridge leading over it, so I ended up with this nice compromise. The walls were all custom built and I learned a lot when it comes to terraforming, a job that takes quite a bit of time, so I just put in the last touches on it before this episode. Towards the water I let the ocean fall down into the abyss and created a bit of foam using glass. As the fog effect required lots of black dye, I created an ink farm and decorated it with a concept of my own. This decoration is still not yet complete, so I will be back here soon. When I finally got the hang on flying, maybe also coupled with recent Minecraft updates that make it easier, the gunpowder consumption increased, so a farm was in order, for which I just recently finished the decoration as an oil rig. As I rely heavily on villages to trade all kinds of goods, I needed a place for them to stay early on. This was the container ship. As it recently completely filled up, I added another bigger ship on its side. The oil tanker ties in nicely with the oil platform scene. I also dug a huge hole that stretches from the far end of the ravine all the way to the ships and goes down to bedrock. The goal was to have my smelter array down there that is solely fueled by bamboo. I guess I made some miscalculations along the way as these three long rows are sufficient for my 10 furnaces. Especially as I keep a bit of bamboo in storage and the smelting is seldomly used. The smelter output leads into another large cavern right under the ships. This space is better used as it houses the sorting and storage facilities. Items are stored in four different ways. Items that I have a lot of, or at least expect to have, are sorted and packed into shulker boxes. Other items that I still have quite a few are sorted and put into chests. The less frequent items are grouped together 
and all sorted in the same chest, like stained glasses and paints, wood or stone products, or mop drops. Everything that does not go into a chest will end up in the storage silos. This hall also needs a bit more love. While it is functional, it could be better and for sure it could look nicer. Once the nether update rolled around, I reset my nether and built a gold farm which is not entirely efficient in regards to the drops that I then sort, but for XP it is sufficient to repair my tools every once in a while. All the gold can then be used for bartering with Inky, Pinky and Blinky. The main drops here I look forward to are gravel, blackstone, quartz and string. There are still a few nether projects down the line. Of course you also need a guardian farm, mainly for sea lanterns, but also the occasional prismarine brick block uh, you want to use. This temple had three sponge rooms and I still have load of prismarine blocks from pulling down the structure, but as you can see decorations are needed. And with that we are in farming territory. One of the earliest ones was a simple iron farm that is still sufficient if I spent a few hours here to replenish my supplies. I built the structure around it in a 19th century industrial style and then did the same thing for the tree farm which produces oak, birch and spruce. The next few farms all replaced earlier farms that relied on serial ticking which was eventually fixed. These were cactus in the sandstone business tower and sugarcane in the futuristic tower. To complement these two I built another one for melons and pumpkins. All overproduction is converted into bone meal for the wood farms. The most recent project that I started was the nether tree farm. So far I only got the nursery for the fungi in the basement, but for that I came up with all the redstone myself. So far I achieved quite a few things, but I'm far from done. I guess there will be a few Minecraft updates until I'm finished here. With each update you have to fix or tweak things a bit so life in Minecraft stays interesting. I hope you enjoyed this tour. If you want to have more details check out the description below with links to the dedicated episodes. My name is Hotzos T and we will hopefully meet again in another day in Minecraft. Goodbye! <laughs>